Hey there, this is Drip T from Bold Looks Aesthetics and Makeup, and I was actually at an event, a mompreneur event, um, Achieve and Lead on Monday, and I had several people come up to me and ask me how come their lip sense wasn't actually lasting as long as it had the first time around. And so this was great for me to actually learn um, you know what it is that they were doing or not doing or whether my explanations or any other person selling lip sense was really enough um, to have them understand the um, basic applications so we talked about it a little bit and some of the things I came away with was um, number one people weren't wiping their lips totally clean so um, when you are applying lip sense one of the things that's really important is that you wipe your lips completely clean so there's no foundation moisturizer or anything lip balm anything on your lips at all so prior to application wipe them down really well second thing was that a lot of people and it's habit i used to do that too when i first started wearing lip sense is going back and forth with the wand and that's a definite no-no because what that will do is actually um, lift the pigment off your lips and obviously then it's not going to last for you for all day. So when you apply make sure it's clean lips and you're doing three layers or three coats and you're applying from one side to the other and not going back and forth. Same thing on the top of the lips go from one side to the other or from center out center out. And that's really important because if you're going back and forth, again, the pigment lifts off itself and causes a little bit of beading. And in the long range, it's not going to last for you as long. So that's number two. And then number three, which quite a few people did and didn't even realize, you know, they, they as they're explaining how they apply their um, color, they're motioning on their lip and they were doing a lot of and that's definitely not a good thing because again, lip pigment presses on top of each other and because it's dry and not set, it lifts off with each other. So you get patches or patchy areas. So again, three coats, make sure that you let it dry in between and that you're not smooshing your lips in between to kind of spread the color around. Really where you apply it is where it's going to stay. And then the last thing is when you're applying your gloss, Make sure you cover every area, coat every area that has color there. Because if you miss a spot, that spot's going to lift off eventually and you're going to have a patch left there that's not colored. So clean lips, three layers, no back and forth motion. And then the last thing, cover every area with your gloss so that it is sealed and also that you're getting the full benefits of the vitamin E and shea butter. So I hope these tips helped and it's a good reminder for myself to make sure that I'm giving you tips for uh, helping you extend the wear of your lip sense. And if you have any questions at all, please let me know. Um, you can you know, connect with me on Facebook, you can message me, um, all my clients always get all my info, so you can email me boldlooks at shaw.ca. And, you know, if you want to try on different colors, let's get together again and get you those colors. But definitely, I want you to enjoy wearing your lip scents because it really is such a cool color or product. And I love it, and I want you to love it and enjoy it too. So thank you very much for being a customer of mine. And if you're watching this and not a customer, that's okay. I hope these tips really help you out and um, that you can go back to your um, person that helped you and select more shades with them. So this is Dripti with Bold Looks Aesthetics and Makeup. And I hope you have a great day and I hope my tips help. Please let me know. Comment below so that I know. Thanks so much. Bye.